السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Our textbook is weekend three, and today, insha Allah, we will cover unit twelve, my dream vacation, finding out time on page ninety one. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazen Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we did learn three important questions about traveling. And not only this, but also we learned that when we go to an airport, for example, or inside an airport, to uh, how to use the flight board and what to ask when you are in a waiting area. So let's start with the first question that we have learned. The first question we have learned is about this uh, flight board. And we said that if you have a look at this flight board, you can see there are three columns. The first one is about time, which means the time of the flight when uh, this flight will going to take off. And also, in, the, in this uh, column that is called the destination, which uh, it has all the cities or, or uh, the places that uh, the plane is going to. For example, this uh, flight or this plane will go to here to Berlin, to Nairobi, to Rome, to Paris, to Auckland, and so on. So usually we see in the middle the name of the place or the name of the city or the name of our destination and at the end you will see a flight number and what can we see or read in a flight number usually we see letters and number for example when we talk about the flight number of Paris flight we can have a look and say Paris flight is PE 4823 this is the flight number of this uh, flight. So we said that uh, usually when you go to an airport and you see a flight board, usually you, you have uh, two types. The first one is the departures type, which, uh, uh, which means that uh, the plane or the flights that going to take off from your airport, from the airport you are in. And also you can see other uh, flight board that says arrival which means the place or the planes that they are going to land in this airport. So now let's read again and remind ourselves of the uh, first question that we did practice last time. The first question we have is, where are you going? Where are you going? So here we have uh, the first question. And usually we use this question if we want to know uh, the other partner where the place he or she is going to. So if we standing in front of a f uh, flight board, uh, flight board, and we I want to know my partner where is he going. So I will use this question: Where are you going? And my partner will start his answer with. I am going to. I am, for example, I am going to Rome. I am going to Auckland. I am going to Berlin. So here my partner should start his answer with, I am going to, and then here he should name the place. I'm going to Riyadh. I'm going to Abha. I'm going to Berlin. These are important that we start our answer with, I am going to. This is how we can ask questions and build questions and answers with going to in questions and also in answers. And the second, uh, the second uh, question we have learned is relating to this uh, picture. And if you remember, we said that have a look at this picture and tell me what does it remind you of. So if you have a look at this uh, picture, usually when you go to an airport and you checked in all your luggage and papers and so on, you will go to a place that is called the waiting area. 
where you can see chairs from both sides and you sit and relax in this area until they call you to board the plane. And usually you can see the plane and you can see the aisle that leads you to this uh, plane. So what is the uh, question that we can ask when we are in a waiting area? Let's uh, read the question. The kind of question uh, we can ask when we uh, are in a waiting area is, how long does it take to get there? How long does it take to get there? So this question means how many hours? or what exactly the time that we need to have or we need uh, to spend to go to this place. So, we said that usually when we have such question, how long does it take to get to this area, we should start our answer with, it takes about. It takes about. These are three important words. It takes about. And then, we can name any of the we can name any of the uh, the uh, hours any of the hours we can say it takes about two hours it takes about five hours it takes about nine hours so here not uh, what is most important is that we start our answer with it takes about so this is regarding the question that is about uh, how long or how many hours does it take to get to this uh, place. And the third question we said that if you have a look at this picture and all the things in this picture, what can you tell? You can tell that this picture represents the activities that we usually do when we are traveling. So for example, here you have uh, pictures of different peaches and here big, uh, a camera, sunglasses, a hat, a cup of coffee, and also a map, and uh, headphones as well. So usually, uh, these, uh, uh, this picture will represent the kind of activities, the kind of things that we can do when we are traveling. Now let's read the third question, which is about these activities. Usually, the third question about the activities will sound like the following, which is, what are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? So when you go to this place or you're going to this destination, what are you going to do? What are the things are you going to do there? So usually we said that we start our question with, I am going. And then we can name any of the activities we can think of. I am going sightseeing. I am going skiing. I am going diving. I am going to stay at uh, an English camp. So here we can think of all the activities that we can do when we go to this place. And what is important here is that we start our answer with I am going. And then we can think of any activity, we can think of any place that we have in mind. So here we have, we did the practice, we did learn when to ask the question. For example, the flight board, when we go to an airport and we see a flight board, we can ask the question. And also, after removing from the flight board, to, uh, to uh, sit in the waiting area, we can ask another question. And when we are in the, uh, from, uh, 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 we move on from the waiting area, if we boarded the plane, then we can ask this question, what are you going to do when you go to this place? So quick reminder of the three question we did uh, uh, asked and answered as well. The first one is, where are you going? This is the first question that you should uh, practice with your partner in front of a flight uh, board. And your partner should uh, start his answer with, I am going to, and then name the place. 
I'm going to Riyadh, I'm going to Paris, I'm going to Rome, and so on. The second question we have is, how long does it uh, take to get there? How long does it take? How many hours that this flight will take to get to the, a certain place? Well, it takes about. This is what is important that we start our answer with. It takes about. It takes about five hours, it takes about three hours, and so on. And the third question, which is about the activity, which is, what are you going to do there? Okay, we are heading to this place, so tell me, what are you going to do there? And then your partner should start his answer, or her answer with, I am going, and then name any activities. I'm going diving, I'm going swimming, I'm going sightseeing, and so on. So now, let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. We hope that at the end of this lesson, that you can make questions and answer with going to, as we did the last lesson, and also to practice some of the vocabularies uh, about uh, certain activities, and also, which we're going to do today, to practice dialogues inside the plane with a partner. And in order to do this, I would like you to open your books on page 91. I would like you, please, to open your books on page 91. Now, on page 91, we would like to practice in-flight ordering. So, when you are inside the plane and you want to order something. So, what we want to do here, we want to be a, a flight attendant and take an order from a partner. So imagine you are a flight attendant and you want to take uh, an order from your partner. So you can choose your partner. Uh, it can be uh, your classmate or a family member or a friend of yours. And if you want to take order, what you should say and what are the answers that you expect to hear. So let's start, for example, when you go to a passenger who is sitting and wants to order. You'll start your question with, Good evening. What would you like to drink? Let's read it again. Good evening. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? This is very important that we use this polite question when we ask a passenger uh, about the things that he or she prefer to drink. So, we can have, if you are a, uh, in a place or if you are playing the role of a passenger, you should start your question with, Hi, I would like some juice, please. I would like some juice, please. So, we start our question with, What would you like? And the answer is, I would like some juice. What would you like? And I would like. Let's uh, hear and read the second uh, question. The second question the flight attendant can ask uh, the passenger is apple or orange juice. So the passenger says or asked for a juice. So here we should differentiate. Do you need or do you want apple or orange juice. And after the passenger chooses, he should end his or her answer with, please. What do you want? Juice or water? Oh, water, please. What do you want? Coffee or tea? Tea, please. It is important that we say, please, whenever we give uh, uh, the order. And after this, the third uh, thing that a uh, flight uh, attendant uh, could ask, which is, when we want, as we have learned previously, we want to give someone anything, we should use the phrase, here you go. For example, here you go, this is the juice you uh, order. Here you go, this is the water you asked for. Here you go, this is uh, your lunch. And when you are as a passenger, when you uh, listen to uh, the uh, flight attendant uh, giving you a, a these, uh, uh, what you have asked for, you should say thank you 
and as a flight attendant you should say you are welcome so you can play these roles uh, with uh, your partner sometimes you can be the flight attendant and ask all of these questions and sometimes you can switch roles you can be the passenger and name and order the things that uh, you want to order so and you can use uh, this question just to help you deciding and choosing about uh, uh, the things that you want so if you are playing this uh, a game with your or you're practicing this uh, dialogue with a partner you can use these questions what would you like to drink what would you like to drink and you can ask your partner to choose from this list orange juice apple juice water or cola so you can ask your partner to choose uh, from this uh, list when you are practicing. And also, here we have another question that you can practice too, which is, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? What are the things that you want to eat, not drink? And then you can ask your partner to choose uh, from this list. Here we have beef or fish, noodles or rice and you can think of any extra food or any extra drinks that you usually see when you are uh, the traveling on plane and we can use it these things uh, when you are practicing this dialogue with a partner also the third one what are you going to drink after dinner uh, tea coffee green tea or juice here you can give options to your partner as well. So at the end, it is important that you practice these questions and also to do a dialogue between a flight attendant and customer or passengers with a partner. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.